Hi, I'm Scott Engel, Managing Director of RotoExperts.com. It's fantasy football season. I am the king. I am fantasy. Here with some NFC North names to know for the 2013 draft season. You can't assume anything about the Green Bay Packers running backs, especially when you play in deeper leagues. Yes, they drafted Eddie Lacy, but we all know that that guy can't stay healthy. We saw it in college. Jonathan Franklin is not built to be a bell cow or a large workload back if he's pressed into that service. So don't forget about Dwan Harris, who played late last year. He's not very tall, but he's built thickly, and he's a real fire hydrant who can break tackles. If you're one of those maybe 15-plus round drafts, or if you're just feeling kind of kind of sparkly late in the late rounds, take a shot on Dewan Harris. <laughs> Mark Tressman is known as a quarterback's coach, and hopefully he can finally rein in Jay Cutler and get him to play well. If he does, Alshon Jeffrey should reach his potential in 2013. But still, Cutler's going to throw a lot this season, and it can't just be to Brandon Marshall anymore. We saw some nice glimpses from Jeffrey when he was healthy last year. I believe that this is the year Alshon Jeffrey breaks through. Big target, good hands, good on-field instincts. I look for him to take a step forward and be a good fantasy wide receiver three. Greg Jennings is the newest Packers wide receiver, but he's had trouble staying healthy. And even if he does, he's going to need a compliment. The Minnesota Vikings might be looking to Jarius Wright to mature and emerge as a possible playmaker this season. When you get in those final rounds and you're looking for sleepers, Jarius Wright certainly has the measurables. He'll have to improve his route running as well. But if Jarius Wright can start to mature in 2013, he could be a real deep fantasy sleeper for your team. Everybody's so excited about Reggie Bush in Detroit, but somebody has to punch the ball in when they get near the goal line stripe, and somebody has to run between the tackles. That's not going to be Reggie Bush. They want to split him out wide. They want to do nifty things with him. So you can't forget about Mikel LaShore just because Reggie Bush is in town. Injuries are always an issue for LaShore, but if he stays healthy, especially in non-PPR leagues, you'll get the touchdowns you want. This guy isn't exactly a sleeper, but I just want to give him a ringing endorsement. I see a big year coming for Randall Cobb. This guy can eat up the cushion, and he is absolutely electric after the catch. Sure, Jordy Nelson is still there. Sure, James Jones is still there. But Aaron Rodgers is still going to spread the ball around a lot for wealth to go around wonderfully. I'll tell you. Randall Cobb going to become the number one fantasy wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers this year. And that means a top 10 fantasy wideout in 2013. The exclusive edge fantasy football package on rotoexperts.com is here, right on the homepage. Get it now. We carry you all the way from draft day to your Super Bowl.